right, this week we are going to talk about space. So space, it can be two different things, or I'm sure even more than that. But when I think of space as an element of art, I either think of the positive and negative space, which we talked about, where the object that we have is the positive space. And whatever's around the object is the negative space. So that's one way that we can talk about space. I'm just drawing this glue that I have in front of me. So the glue is the positive space. And the white paper behind the glue, all of this other stuff here, is the negative space. We can also talk about space by talking about the depth that the picture has. So we can make it look like there is space in a picture by changing the size of something. So if something is smaller, It's going to look like it's further behind than something larger. So things that are closer to us appear to be larger. So take for example, everybody knows that the moon is much larger than our thumb. But if you go outside and you stick your thumb up and you, you can cover the moon because our thumb is closer to us it's going to appear larger than the moon, even though we know that the moon is just really far away. It's clearly much larger than our thumb. So size will give us the illusion of depth. Also the positioning on the page. So where we place our objects is going to indicate where it is in space. So if I draw some hills here, even if I have a tree that is the exact same size, as this tree, these are the same size, but this one's going to look like it's closer to us because it's lower on the page. So the position that we place on the page, if I place something here, it's going to look closer to me or down here, it's going to look closer to me than something that I place back here, even if they're the same size. And the last one that we'll talk about today, although that there are probably about 10 different ways that we can make space on a page, is overlapping. If something is overlapping something else, it is going to look like it is closer to us. That's So these are three easy ways to make the illusion of depth on the page. For our warm-up note card today, we are going to start with the first thing that we talked about on space, and that's positive and negative space. So I'm going to set my note card aside. I have this piece of paper. It's actually a scrap piece of paper from a printout that I got from one of my kids' schools. And I'm going to start painting it like we did with the texture. I'm just going to add some layers of paint and make it look interesting. I'm, I'm going to stick with a monochromatic color scheme, so I'm just going to do different blues. And then we're going to use our scissors and our glue, whether you have a glue stick or Elmer's glue or white glue, it does not matter how you want to glue this down, but then we are going to do a collage on our note card.
So I have my little index card here and I, I didn't use the white shapes a whole lot, but I did like to cut them out because it was just good to get an idea of kind of the shapes that I wanted, but I did use them. I did use one of them right there on that spot and I might even um, cut that. So the goal here is to have the shapes not overlapping so that there is positive shapes and then negative shapes, but that the negative shapes still make shapes on the card. So I love how that turned out. I think that was a really fun project. All right, so I did end up trimming that piece off, which I really like this um, circular shape uh, of the negative shape. One more tip that I think is helpful is to think of repeating the shapes, but making them a little bit different. So this shape repeats itself several times and also having continuous lines. So even though this shape is different than this shape, there's still a line that draws your eye through the piece. And you can find that in several ways on this piece. So keeping the eye moving through the piece and repeating the shapes, but making them a little bit different, whether it's changing them slightly on how they're shaped or the size of them. All right, so our first project we did, we just worked with the positive negative space for our more formal project on our watercolor paper. We are going to do a landscape and we are going to focus on the illusion of depth using different sizes, the positioning and the overlapping. So I am going to use a couple pieces of scratch paper and I'm going to make some masks and kind of decide how I want to do my landscape. So if you want to do a landscape, um, you can you can decide I'm going to make masks using this paper and then block out the areas that I don't want paint. You'll see how I use them. So I have a couple pieces of scratch paper and I'm going to do a few drawings on what I want my landscape to look like. It's going to be very whimsical and I'm going to use a lot of bright colors that maybe you wouldn't normally see in a landscape, but it's just a, it's going to be a fun, fun, whimsical project. 